Alright, so this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, the Hello World um, basic tutorial for uh, building a basic app in Xcode. This is going to be done on Xcode 4.3, so it's a bit different than the old formulas. Um, so we open it up, go to single view application in iOS application, and then we'll click on next. And this is going to be done in... Um, on an iPhone 4S um, in iOS 5.0. So you just uh, pick a product name and make sure it's on device family iPhone. That's what I'm going to do it on. You could use Storyboard if if you want, but I'm not going to do it for this. Uh, just type in blah and then click next. Um, then you just create it, the project file. All right. So basically, I just uh, you're just gonna have to change the coding a bit on your uh, two view controllers, and then do some modifications on the XIB file. Um, so basically, here you just set up how you want it to rotate. Um, eventually I'm just going to just do a portrait one, but you could make it so that the device orientation goes upside down, landscape, and both sides and whatnot. Um, so the two files we're going to modify are viewcontroller.m and viewcontroller.h. And like I said, I already got the coding for it, so I'm just going to copy and paste it, and you could stop the video. Um, if you need to, if you need the coding to copy and paste it yourself, and actually like look into it and see what's what's where, and just to get a better understanding of it. So I'll do the viewcontroller.h first. So open that up, and just highlight the old one and paste over it. So we're just adding a couple lines um, with the labels and the hello and goodbye and the reset actions that we're going to link up to our buttons um, once we're done this so you'll see how it works alright so now I'm going to go to the viewcontroller.m file just copy this alright and then we'll just paste it over this again Open up the .m file. There we go. All right, now I'm just gonna paste over the old one. And again, you could pause it if you want to um, see what's the difference and uh, what the actions are that you'll be seeing in the final product. So you can see it there. Alright, so there you go. Now we'll get into the XIB file and we want to click on the file owner that allows us to in interact with the, the actual device and the user interface for it. So now what we want is to create a couple labels, which is going to show uh, the actual hello world and goodbye world. Um, so we will put two labels, and I mean you can put them anywhere you want um, on this area, which is going to be how it's going to show up on your iPhone. Um, so I'm just going to put the two labels kind of in the middle and then I'll put the one button on top and two buttons below and then we'll just edit these buttons after just to make them big enough so they could hold um, the actual text that we're gonna put in so the two labels, will, one label will read um, hello world and the other will read uh, goodbye world and then the actual buttons will just 
you know, just to let you know where to click for those labels, then that text to show up. We'll put like click here first, then click here, and then reset on the bottom. So that whenever you touch them, um, they'll go on and you can actually reset it to clear it just to test it out. So we got all our buttons and labels. Now I'm just going to make the label bar a bit bigger so that it could have all the text in it. And then we'll also align it a bit. And I mean, this is pretty basic, so you could change a lot of the stuff. You could change the actual text color. And um, I just use the round react button. You could choose different buttons. You could do swiping stuff as well. But just for this basic um, hello world, um, I didn't see any um, tutorials um, for Xcode 3.0, which they built in. Um, if you download from Apple with a developer account, so it's a bit trickier um, than the old ones. So I decided I'd do a video and uh, let people know how to do it, just in case. Alright, so I'm just typing in the text for these, so the bottom button is going to be a reset button. Uh, this one's going to be, I think, click here first. So this button's going to react with one of the labels and when you click on this button or touch this button it'll show up as hello world and then the top button uh, will show goodbye world and then the reset will reset both the labels so it'll be a blank screen again so you can start off again and I didn't spell it right first uh, there we go and this one will be then click here And again, you could change the color of the text background, um, and pretty much everything's customizable. But just for the sake of getting the basic stuff done and keeping the video, you know, fairly short, um, we're not going to do all that. We'll just align this so it's a bit neater. Um, so now we got all our buttons ready. We're just going to get rid of the text so it doesn't say label because then once you click on the click your first button and then click here so it doesn't overlap the text. Um, so these kind of label boxes will be invincible um, to the naked eye. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to go in here and we're going to actually link up our action buttons and labels so that they actually work. So first we'll start with the received actions. We'll do the reset, hello and goodbye. So we'll start off with the reset. You will drag it down to the actual reset button and you'll see the blue line and the link for it um, if it's acceptable. And we'll just do, uh, you can switch, pick whatever you want. We're just going to do touch up inside. So if you click anywhere inside the button, then I'll react. And once you do that, you see it react. Uh, so you see it now say button reset. And we do that again with the hello. Click here first since we want it to say hello first. And then goodbye. And again, we'll do touch up inside. And then you see the little gray kind of bubble there showing that it's linked up. And finally, we'll do it with goodbye. To then click here, touch up inside. All right, so all those are linked up. So now that's done. All right, so now we'll just link up the two uh, labels. So goodbye world and hello world. And again, you'll see them turn into like a little grayed out bubble so you know that they uh, are working. One there, and one there. So now that when you click it, you'll see them show up. We'll run it again. The build, so it's build successful, so you know everything's right. Um, it's on, a, you see it come up like this, but it's on portrait mode right now, which I don't want because I didn't really build back to the start. So you see how. 
all the basically landscape and upside down were clicked and not the portrait so I just want the portrait one clicked so there we go now I'm gonna run the build again and there you go so you see it set up normally so click here first you see hello world then click here goodbye world so you're basically done now and reset there you go so now you could test it out make sure it works and that's basically your easy basic uh, tutorial on how to build the Hello World app on um, Xcode 4.3 for uh, iPhone um, on iOS 5.0. We're going to change the background color just to add some uh, color to it. So instead of the gray background, all you have to do is go into here click on the actual background display and then go to background you'll see a color wheel pop up and then you can just scroll to whatever color you want and you'll see it in the image and then you'll see it change when you uh, run the build again and it will look something like this just run it again there we go so it changes to that kind of like sky bluish theme and then we can try pushing the buttons again so hello world then goodbye world and then reset and that's basically it that's the